Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to FC Dallas post-match press conference with interim head coach Peter Luxon. We'll start with Drew. Recording in progress. Uh, Peter, congrats on tonight's win. Uh, obviously, last week was a bit of a disappointment in Kansas City, but how does this make up for it when what feels like a pretty complete win for you guys tonight? Um, <clears throat> if you can see that body language, is um, I'm still hurt a little bit about that last game against Kansas, to be honest. But that, um, is about this team, this is what you saw today, like a tough day playing against like a very, very good team. And coming uh, from that uh, loss against uh, Kansas and the Open Cup, and we knew that that competition was very important for us. But say a lot about that that team. Yeah, he's, I told you the for, from the first day, I'm very proud of them, Zoe Ford with all the adversity that we have right now, with, uh, with the injury players, um, with uh, so many things uh, around the team right now, but uh, I'm very proud with the staff, staff top, high level today and the, and the, and the bench. So <clears throat> now I'm very happy about the twin and I'm gonna have like, I'm gonna need like uh, two more days because I'm <laughs> still thinking about that uh, Kansas game, to be honest. But at the same time, I can be focused. This is what we, uh, we did tonight. We have been focused. Again, I'm telling that he's, a, he's, a, he's one of the best teams in the league and uh, shoot out, so we didn't concede a goal. Um, so it's, it's a just a positive thing uh, tonight. We have other players like Carlsen coming inside, helping the, the team. So we keep doing what we have been doing so far, like uh, putting like a player from the academy, or even from the NTSC, and uh, we're going to keep uh, working that way. Carlos Nava, ESPN. Claro. Felicidades, Peter. Peter, ¿qué nos puedes decir de estos jugadores que parece que en partidos como hoy, a pesar de que han jugado prácticamente doble jornada mm -hmm. desde que llegaste, no paran de correr? Hay delanteros que defienden, hay defensas que atacan, mm -hmm. los mediocampistas van de lado a lado. Eh, y reitero, parecería que este equipo eh, luce con más energía que en el pasado. Eh, ¿Qué nos puedes decir de ellos? No, gracias, Carlos. Y, um, <clears throat> and no, this is uh, from the first day. From the first day, uh, we have been talking that, uh, perdón, sorry, I was speaking uh, English. <laughs> perdón, perdón. Eh, desde, no, desde el primer día, desde el primer día, esto que habíamos hablado, de que aquí sin energía, sin compromiso, no se puede jugar. No se puede jugar porque calidad y calidad. Yo sé, se ve con los acier. 34 años y lo que jugó 120 minutos uh, hace tres días, vuelve a jugar 95. A ver, eso dice mucho del equipo. Es igual con Sebastián Ibiaga, es igual con Nicosi, um, con Sebastián Leggett también. Son jugadores que lo están dando todo. Hasta yo a veces estoy un poquito así porque no quiero más lesionados. Pero eso dice mucho un poquito del carácter de este club. Um, y hemos visto otra vez la gente apoyando. Aunque venimos de un partido muy difícil, y, la, y lo digo sinceramente, a mí me ha dolido mucho uh, perder um, el último partido contra Kansas en la Copa, porque es una competición que era muy importante para nosotros y para mí y para el club. Así que, y ahora dice mucho de este equipo, Carlos, dice mucho de este equipo. Venimos de, de dos partidos muy difíciles en Kansas, donde no merecimos perder, y eso lo digo. Y al final... Duro, tres días después, volvemos aquí y se gana 2-0 sin encajar goles. Entonces, eso lo dice todo. Ahora ya tenemos que recuperar y uh, pensar en el partido de Austin. Poco a poco ya se ve que nos estamos acercando un poquito, una zona que es más, eh, más de las nuestras. Y, um, y nada, pero muy contento con la, con la victoria de esta noche, aunque no se me ve mucho en la cara. Hi, Coach. Uh, Sydney Staples, DG10 sí, Sports. Um, what are things that you're still wanting the team to work on from a win like this? Oof. I will say that uh, maybe having more of the ball in those moments. I think that we did that in the, in the last 10 minutes. In the first half, we, uh, we were rushing too much. I, I, I think we should like um, have gone a little bit higher on the pitch and uh, and. Men and sustaining a little bit more the, the ball. Even we want to, um, 
even if we want to go more vertical, but we need to understand those timings, we need to understand those, those moments to be vertical. So for me, it's just how to manage the, the game will be better with the ball, because I can see, we knew, we knew that uh, LA, LA Galaxies are very good with the ball. Um, but in the end, I didn't see so much in the last third for them. So we have like maybe two shots from, uh, from outside the box, maybe, maybe another opportunity for them. But I think that we control well. We are being uh, pretty uh, decent in the low block, staying uh, compact. But yes, the only thing that I will say that we need to manage better with the ball, have like a longer possession. Peter, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Gusto verte. Y mejor si tus jugadores empiezan a recuperar, ¿vas a tener la recuperación en las próximas fechas de tus jugadores? ¿Y de, de, de quién hablas? De, de... Por ejemplo, eh, estuvo Liam, que sí. se recuperó. ¿Cuántos más faltan? No, li, li, eh, li, Liam, Liam este, tiene para más. Liam ¿Qué? tiene para más. Todavía no vamos a recuperar a ningún jugador. Híjole. Eh, eh, lo sé que, pero eh, el, el medical staff está, está trabajando de, de una manera espectacular para recuperar estos jugadores. Pero ahora mismo, que sea Jesús, que sea Patrickson, eh, que sea Liam, no, no están de momento para volver. Así que tendremos que, que seguir peleando con los que tenemos, que, que ya tenemos muy, bueno, muy buen roster. Pero claro, es muy difícil para rotar. Lo hemos visto contra Kansas en tema de rotación, muchos jugadores que era casi el primer partido jugando y uh, no es sencillo, pero muy feliz por la aportación de, de los chavales. Y en la motivación de ganarle no nomás a un equipo que, que es el LA Galaxy, sino que estaba en primera posición. Bueno, estaban uh, segundo o tercero, segundo. ¿no? Segundo o tercero, no. Es lo que decía un poquito a Carlos también, de que eh, el corazón que metió el el equipo esta noche es increíble. Después de, de, de haber jugado 120 minutos hace solamente tre, eh, tres días. Y antes de estos tres días habían jugado algunos 90 minutos. Así que, que esto, es, como se dice en Francia, es chapeau. Chapeau para los jugadores, pero no hemos hecho nada todavía. Y sabemos lo que queremos. A lo mejor no lo voy a decir tan alto. Sabemos exactamente lo que queremos y hay que seguir empujando y hay que seguir luchando. Muy bien. Y así que entonces, ¿te consideras ya eh, que vas a poder trabajar a gusto esta semana? Bueno, esta semana en, en tres días ya tenemos otro partido contra Austin en casa, que va a ser un partido muy importante y clave para nosotros. Así que no tengo ni tiempo de, de realmente respirar porque siempre los partidos vienen. Ya sé que no era la mejor situación, por ejemplo, para mí, um, pero es, Dios nos puso en esa situación a que embrace it y, um, y, y tenemos un partido contra Austin y, uh, y a por ellos. Uh, I, I think it's a big win. You know, we were in Kansas City for a week, two hard losses, hard games, uh, and for everybody to come back, have a good attitude, and put in a good shift like that, and beat uh, a top, top team like Galaxy with a clean sheet at home, I think it's fantastic. Gives us some momentum in the league because now we can really focus on the league. As much as heartbreaking as it is that we're out of the Open Cup, we got to focus on what uh, what's ahead of us and making playoffs is that. So I think we set up set ourselves up good to to keep doing that. I feel great. I think uh, Peter's helped me out a lot with the mentality change and and letting me know what my role is more on defense than in offense because he's given me a little bit more freedom in offense to kind of do what I think is right with tips here and there and what he wants. So I think it's going well. I'm starting to understand the role I'm in a lot more and I'm also understanding my teammates a lot more. So they're able to find me in better spots and ultimately I can do my job, which is score goals. Yeah, I think it's kind of similar to the Open Cup, you know, we're, we're in, we're focusing on making playoffs now and getting a win like that carries a lot of momentum into the next game where it's another chance to get another three points and closer to the playoffs. What would you say the team has done well tonight specifically? Uh, I think we just worked really hard, you know. I think a lot of teams after two, two losses can kind of put their heads down and kind of sulk a little bit and 
we didn't do that. We kind of came out here in front of our fans. We showed them that we can play, how, how we can play, that we can match up against any team in the league, and, and we got a result. Uh, I think just being consistent over the 90 minutes. I think there's points in the game where we're really good dominating the game, and there's also points in the game where we're struggling. And that's going to happen, but um, for us to kind of manage those a little bit better, I think, is, is, is a key for us. Yeah, I mean, my motivation is just trying to get wins for these guys. I mean, we work really hard, you know, in training every day. And the season hasn't been the way we wanted it to go. You know, a lot of bad losses, a lot of losses that we feel like we played well. And so for me, it's just the main motivation is getting three points for these guys because we put in the work every day. And that's kind of the main thing. Yeah. Okay. How do you consider this section? This section? Uh, because you start to work in, I see in the teams, they bad, sometimes bad results, but no bad games. Yeah. Do you consider it that you have bad session, not because of your efforts, yeah. but about injuries, yeah. about don't get the situation the last minute? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Like, yeah. The season has been frustrating so far, but I think it's it shows the resilience of the guys and myself. It's We can have bad results, but... It, our main focus is to play well, and a lot of those games we have played well, and they just haven't handed the way we want. A lot of injuries and stuff like that, but we kind of push those things aside, and we can't make make excuses at the end of the day, and we just have to keep working hard. Thank you. I appreciate right. for the interview. Yeah. And Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. There's like two more. Yeah. Uh, you, this was your uh, 100th MLS start tonight. Uh, got a clean sheet out of it. Yep. Uh, what did you make of the team's overall performance? I thought it was really good. I think it was one of our co more complete games. I think that's something we've been struggling with lately is we played well for maybe 50 minutes, 60 minutes, 65, and then we have a little 10 to 15 minute gap where we don't play as well, and that's when we get punished. But I think today we put a solid 90 in, and we were rewarded with two goals and a clean sheet. So it was really, really good, and it was, I'm happy to, that the whole team got a good result too. Just a lot of communication. I think my voice, obviously, you can kind of hear a little bit. Is a little bit hoarse. It, it was making sure that me and Coase were just making sure the guys in front of us were where they needed to be and taking cues from where Peck was or where uh, Ricky was and stuff like that, and just being more proactive as opposed to being reactive to them. Because once you're reactive to them, they're good enough. They're around you, and by then it's too late. Last one. And Wednesday was obviously a really tough result. Yeah. Very good. I think, as I said earlier, it, it was a hard one because we didn't necessarily play bad on Wednesday. Uh, we just didn't. We had a lot of chances. We didn't finish our chances, and we got punished at the very, uh, very late in the game. And that's kind of been the theme this year. So it was really good to finally put a good 90 together and come out with a good result at the end. Great results tonight. Um, how important was tonight's win, considering you guys are coming off a really disappointing and tough result in Kansas City? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, we couldn't make it three games without a win, so we had to kind of bounce back, uh, show a good mentality, show our character again. I think we are a team with a good character, so it keeps showing up every game. As you can see, even the losses we got, we had to come back from behind and, and fight all the way through, and that's what we do, and we got to keep doing that if we want to be in a playoffs position. Galaxy, they score a lot of goals, a lot of dangerous players in their front line. What were you guys doing correct defensively to get the shutout? Um, I think just staying compact, defending as a team, um, and embracing the challenge, especially for players like us who don't defend as much. We were given a huge responsibility in helping the defense, keeping the clean sheet, and I think we did a very good job. Not just tonight, but in the last few games, you look like a different player. You're playing with like a ton of freedom. You're just kind of like, I don't know, you know playing your game. Yeah. What has helped that you bring that back? Um, it's just like the confidence I've been getting from the coach and from my teammates as well, uh, trusting me on the ball and uh, helping me defensively. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's just like a teamwork, helping helping each other, uh, getting me in my, uh, the ball in a good spot where I can actually uh, affect the game and make a difference. And credit to my teammates, like I said as well, it's a, it's a collective effort. You guys have played a lot of games this month, another one in three days against Austin, an important rivalry game. Basically, how are you guys managing it all? Um, I think like, uh, like from now on after the game, recovery is the most important thing. Uh, taking care of like the little things like diet, resting, um, and doing all the small things to make sure that we're ready for, for Wednesday's game.